Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is going to be another backyard transformation. This one really, really just made a huge difference. I cannot wait to share this video with you guys. I hope y'all enjoy it and I hope it brings you lots of motivation. Now, if you happen to miss my last video, I did paint the house, so I will leave that video link down below so you can check out um, what a difference that made as well. But we're gonna jump right into, here's just an overview of what the backyard is looking right, like, looking, who looking like right this moment it's a little chaotic that just keep in mind that it we're still in the construction process we're still finishing up the inside of the building um, but once that's done we will be rebuilding the porch that is attached to the building itself so all of that will be redone but right now we're just working with what we have just updating it making it look as presentable as possible until we reach those points it may be a whole year before we get to that part of the project so um, until then I'm just gonna be painting the concrete and just freshening up what I can. So first thing I'm gonna do is just work on cleanup, getting everything cleared out of the space so I can start blowing off the back porch and start prepping it to paint. So just to make cleanup a little bit easier, I am gonna wrap my paint tray in aluminum foil, just because right now I'm using the same paint tray that I'm using to paint the house. So like I said, just for easy cleanup, I can just remove the aluminum foil and the paint tray is back to square one. Just makes your life so much easier. I can tell you right now, I talked about this in my last video too, I am not a fan of the cleanup process after painting. That is literally the worst part for me. So I will do anything I can to make it easier, whether that's adding a bag around the paint tray, that's always an option. Um, I've just found that the aluminum foil just makes it a little bit easier. Um, the bag always like shifts around and just makes a mess. I feel like the aluminum foil worked much better. So anything to make your job easier. Now, once I get it all set up, I am gonna go ahead and show you guys the paint that I'm using. Um, the color is Urban Bronze by Sherwin-Williams, and I just had it mixed in this Valspar porch and floor paint. This is actually the exact same color and paint that I used on the front porch, if you already watched that video, and I'm happy to announce that it's holding up great. The dogs have already ran all over it. We have slid the chairs around. Um, it's rained a few times like it's holding up really well so I definitely recommend this paint at this point now as far as longevity I cannot tell you how long it's gonna hold up and all that but at this moment definitely recommend if you're looking to paint your concrete or wood floor um, whatever it is I think that this paint um, actually did a really great job and it has great coverage I did one coat on the front porch and I did one coat here on the back patio um, and with one good solid coat using the right roller that gets all into the grooves one coat is really all you need. Um, if I was to do two coats, I could guarantee that the coverage and the durability would be even better, but we're on a budget and I had two gallons total, one for the front and one for the back. 
Now I also wanted to mention this concrete will eventually be covered. We plan on doing another basically another concrete slab over it to level it out and to extend it all the way to the other side of the building because you can see half of the building is still dirt. This side is all the concrete that we had existing. So eventually there'll be more concrete and then we'll kind of do like a an overlay. I don't really know how to explain concrete work, but we're going to level out and fix all the concrete issues that we have currently um, whenever we redo that spot. But that's going to be way down the line. So one coat for me for right now was fine just for this temporary job. All right, so now I'm gonna finish up around the port or like the door area. Now I wanted to make this as straight of a line as possible. Once again, this area is the same as our front porch area where they poured the concrete. They just did a really shifty job, you know what I mean? And it was like really lumpy and bumpy. So it's really hard to get the straightest line when the concrete is so messed up. Um, so I just did my best. I took this little um, painting pad and used this to make as straight of a line as I possibly could. Um, and then I'll go in and roll the rest. Now, I just wanted to mention this um, painting pad is actually meant for interior purposes only. It's not really meant for exterior paint or painting on the outside for any reason. But y'all know I like to break the rules around here. And if it makes my job easier, whether it's meant for the you know project or not, I will use it if it works. And it worked fine. Um, but you can see, even though I tried my best to keep a straight line, there were some areas that messed up. I just didn't let it bother me too much once everything is styled there's plants on the porch nobody's going to be looking at this line and be like oh my gosh look at the messed up line there's so many other pretty things to look at no one's going to look at that so don't stress it after i finished up this part of the porch i did jump inside allow it to dry fully to where i could at least walk on it and then i am going to be painting along the bottom of the building so the concrete that's exposed i am going to paint that because no matter how many times we clean it it gets 
like that green moldy look on it and because it's such a light color it's super noticeable really fast so i'm painting over it and hopefully it won't be as noticeable because it's dark paint so that's why i love dark paint because it hides all the imperfections so you can see here what i'm talking about like i said no matter how much we clean it it just turns right back green because the moisture here so i'm going to paint all this and it's going to look so much better She's only sipping white wine. She's friendly and fun of in That's my finger. Ask her on a strength to keep the night. Well, it decided to rain of all the days. It was all sunny and beautiful and no rain in the forecast and it rains. As soon as I was done painting, um, we have some chips happening where like the runoff from the roof was hitting. So that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna hold up at this point. I'm really, really bummed. Excuse me, you get my flowers? <laughs> now, I definitely need some soil to replant those plants. I'll have to get that later, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all this crap, basically. There's like, this is a mixture of little tiny garbage pieces. We have some concrete pieces, some Nerf bullets, you name it, is in this pile. Um, and I just kind of rake the yard up. There's also stuff, like stuffing from the dog's toys. It, this was way overdue so i got all this cleaned up and then i'm just gonna tidy up around the fence line as well um you can see there's a lot of extra dirt all that was from whenever we dug out between the house and the building and put the rock there because we had to lower the ground level so all that extra dirt we put along our fence line so that way our fence didn't have a gap in between it um, to keep the dogs from like going up underneath the fence because yes they do that they escape um, and right here you can see i added actually some block um, they're just like little stepping stones i tuck them up underneath the fence and then lean them towards the fence and now i'm covering it with dirt so hopefully the dogs will stop trying to escape right here <sighs> i have four little houdinis they literally get out almost once a day and I am to the point where I'm about to call the pound myself like and scare the crap out of them like so this is what happens when you escape the yard <laughs> just kidding I would never do that it was totally just a horrible joke um but I'm just taking all this extra dirt and just kind of spreading it out making it even along the fence line 
Now, as I was doing this, I was, so, okay, so yesterday when I actually painted the concrete, the neighbors in the corner, so where the palm trees, or not the palm trees, I'm sorry, the banana trees are, that, that house, that corner house, they just had a new fence installed. So while they were installing the new fence, they actually like chopped up the banana tree. And as they were working on it, I couldn't help but notice how bad our banana tree looks now. It actually got destroyed in the hurricane and you can see a lot of the limbs are dead. There's one of the um, banana trees that are just completely leaning over the fence. So it was way overdue for me to clean this up. So I am gonna go out there and cut all those dead branches down. And I even chopped some of the bigger banana trees down just to kind of have like a fresh start it was getting to the point where there were so many banana trees popping up in the corner it was getting really cluttered and just messy looking so not only did i clean up the banana tree i also clean up the other plant i don't even know what kind of plant that is but we my mom actually gave that to me back when we lived in our trailer in georgia and my daughter was a baby so it's like the plant for my daughter i don't know it's like it's almost 10 years, actually it is 10 years old now. Holy crap. I didn't even think about that. My daughter just turned 10. So yeah, this, that spiky little plant over there in the corner is 10 years old. Um, it took forever for it to start growing. It like didn't grow for the longest time. And then all of a sudden when we got here and we planted it in the ground, it took off and we had it planted by the back sliding glass door. If y'all remember, and then it was so funny back when my daughter was a baby, she would sometimes take scissors it's fine <laughs> but she would take scissors and she would cut the grass well she decided to clean up my plant one time and she actually cut all the spikes off of that plant at one point it was hilarious but i swear when it was planted by the front of the house it just or by the side of the house it took off and it ended up growing so quick and we ended up having to replant it over here because it got so big and so dangerous because this thing will take an eyeball out i'm not even kidding but look how much better this is already looking when I start cutting down all the dead leaves from the banana tree. To be honest, this banana tree is beautiful and it looks so good when it's all cleaned up, but the leaves die so quick and it's one of those things where every week you have to cut off the dead limbs or it just looks rough real quick and it's just one of those plants that you really got to maintain. Um, and if you don't maintain it, it looks rough. But here I am just chopping everything down. I even decided to chop down the big one because it was like leaning and it looked like it was going to start dying because the hurricane kind of messed it up. So I went ahead and just started completely fresh, trimmed them all, cut them all down, including some that probably didn't even need to be cut. But I just thought, let's clear it up, start completely new. And I'm so glad I did. It looks amazing. And I'm honestly... So I'm torn on this like spiky plant. I don't love it. Is that horrible? I feel bad because it's, I feel like it's one of those things. I have like this weird attachment to it because I think it has been with us in every home. So I feel like I need to keep it, but it's just not my favorite look. It kind of looks like a desert vibe. I don't know if that's like the look I'm going for in my backyard. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But I did clean it up. I cut all the dead limbs off of it and it does look a little bit better. Um, I'll get to that in just a minute. Not that y'all want to hear me complain about technology, but I'm going to. So, um, y'all know I have been struggling with my content for a while, like the quality, because I got a camera at the beginning of the year. It was a Sony ZV-1. The guy at Best Buy recommended it. It was like a cheaper version of the Canon G7X Mark II, supposedly. Well, it's not, okay. The Canon G7X Mark II is the bomb.com. The Sony is not it. It just overheats all the time. The quality is just not the same as the Canon. And the whole time I'm out here working, cleaning up all this stuff, think I'm filming, my camera overheated multiple times. So this is all I had for you guys. <laughs> um, but here is an overview of how everything turned out now. Well, here's a before, and then here's what it looks like now. So much better between the concrete being painted, the house being painted, everything cleaned up, even the yard being cleaned up and like debris free. It looks so, so beautiful. I cannot wait to rebuild the porch cover and just really start working on our backyard dreams. But until then, this is what she's looking like. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye y'all.